going on, everybody? It's your boy, John Fathaber, here. Welcome you back to another episode of The Saga Lock. Hopefully, you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. This is Tuesday, the 30th of April's episode. Hopefully, everybody is doing a wonderful day. Hopefully, everything is well. Today, we are actually... I actually don't necessarily know what we're doing in today's episode. Not really gonna lie. I just know that we're getting encounters. Um, and I... I think we have to take on the Komodo girls, if I'm not mistaken. I believe they force you to take them on, but we gotta get our encounters. So, uh, we never got our encounter here, so our encounter here, hopefully it's good. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we got... Uh, uh, okay. It's chaos. Chaos control. Um, okay. I'm not too mad about that. It's just another bug type. And it's not like we have like 30 of those already, but... You know what, I'll take it. We trained our team up to level 30. The only person, the only reason that Chuckalina is level 29 is that we ended up having a little bit of an incident with Aaron. So Aaron got to level 31 because, you know, speed up grinding and all that. Um, sometimes you kind of forget what's going on and what you're doing. So, yeah, that was a little bit of a oof. But our new team member is XB Sparks. So hopefully you enjoy XB Sparks on the team because I think that he is going to be on the team for a long time. I'm crossing my fingers. Shuckalina. If you okay, I don't know if this is actually gonna live or not. I feel like it should live, right? I know it's gonna do with some damage, but I mean, it's it's Shuckalina, right? You do like half, maybe, maybe. Oh, sweet! That actually worked out better than I expected. You know. Oh, yeah, Shuckalina obviously learned Rock Slide, so that's new. Um, so instead of Shuckalina having Ancient Power, he's, she's got Rock Slide, so she's out here really doing well and a good job for herself. And we will... not nah all. Shuckalina's hurt. My poison... I might actually switch up from Shuckalina only because, you know, poison sucks, right? And for Shuckalina, that's really bad because Shuckalina doesn't have that much health. So... Yeah, I'm definitely switching out from Shuckalina. Um, I don't know, because I don't think really anything is going to poison powder. Um, but yeah, being in the red. I mean, Shuckle, okay. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Never mind. I was going to go into Barry, and then I'm like, I know Barry should be able to tank hits and do fine, but do I really trust Barry? Not really. I love Barry and hope Barry does well. But trusting Barry, that might be a little bit of a stretch. As much as Barry does a lot for us, going in against a thing that literally work is effective against us in two ways, probably not smart. I'm getting my jacket on just because I'm, like, cold. That's why you put a jacket on, obviously. <laughs> but, like, oh, it's freezing. Um, then again, I'm, like, in a short sleeve shirt and in... Then again, I'm also, you know, it's Washington. It's always cold. Like, what is it not? I mean, today the sun was out and beaming, and it was a crisp 46 degrees. So, yeah. When we talk about Washington and cold, we're not joking. <laughs> like, the sun can be beaming, and it's still not even, like... It's just like, oh, cool. It happened. Like, oh my god. Why? Okay, I'm just killing it. I, this is get, I'm getting angry with this. Like, we should not have this much trouble catching Pokemon. We really shouldn't. It should not be that hard. But here we are in the red, and still every we're having problems catching Pokemon. It's like, bruh. Like, why? What, like, how? Why and how? That is the two questions that you gotta answer. Why in the world are you having this much trouble catching Pokemon? And how in the world are you having this much trouble catching Pokemon? Because that should not be a problem. It is like, our team is really good, right? And it is, I love our team. And so it's not like catching Pokemon's really gonna affect us that much, but still you wanna get your encounters, you wanna get all this stuff just in case the train wreck happens. Like last episode's train wreck where freaking, I don't even wanna talk about last episode's train wreck because it was that much of a train wreck, but still, like, it's bound to happen. So you gotta prepare. This is the National Cat Park encounter. Hopefully it's good. It's a joy! It's a joy! Let's go! Uh, it's freaking joy! Uh, I need this. I need you. Joy, if you don't let me catch you, I'm gonna be so upset because it's literally Gen 1 or Gen 1 and 2 joy. So <laughs> this is exciting. Hopefully we'll be able to catch this and add this to the team because 
that's a big deal for us. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and spore it, obviously. Oh my god, it's a joy! So we had one Gen 1 starter, and now we have another Gen 1 starter. We lo love it. Best part is if something dies, <coughs> Tom Brady, um, then we can add this to the team. Although I highly doubt Tom Brady's gonna die, because Tom Brady's actually quite a good Pokemon. Um, I think if any... What? And it woke up turn one. Of course it did. Because welcome to this freaking Johto. Uh, you wonder why I hate Johto? It's because it's being a pain in the butt the entire way through. But then again, it's also, like, making me like Johto a little bit more. Only because, like, it's being a pain in the butt. You know, like, I hate that it's a pain in the butt. But I also love that it's a pain in the butt. Dude, Joy! I mean, I haven't hit you. That, that does make a difference. Um, but who would ever hit Joy? Joy's too amazing. Honestly, Joy is just too amazing. Game, let's, ah! Like, this game, like, I can't hit this. It's level 11, so, like, if I try and hit this, that's bad. Um, oh my god. Are you, is this, is this, like, is this, like, is Jodo just playing a joke on me? Like, I had 25 Great Balls. I had 25! 25. 25! That is a lot! That is a ton of Great Balls! I prepped for this episode! I prepped! And this game was like, ha! You thought you prepped. How about you use all of them Great Balls in one episode? Because I got another encounter I have to deal with too! Like, I could've bought all Pokeballs. I'm not gonna be, like, I'm not, like, oh, I double sport. Oops. I could've. I didn't, because there's no reason to, but here we are having to struggle with a Squirtle, of all things. It is a Squirtle. It is a lovely, lovely boy, but yet we are struggling with it. Like, it is asleep too, so we have double the catch rate, but we're still struggling. Like, like I know we got, and we still got 10 more encounters. Three, like, like we're gonna, like, oh, like I have money, and the, like I could spend more money on great balls, but like, crap. I'm going into Shuckalina. I don't know if this Squirtle takes a hit though, but I guess I gotta kind of hope it does. I guess it probably lives Fury Cutter. Oh, handily, okay. But the Shuckalina, the Shuckalina lives that. Easy. That is like eight damage. Seven. Even better. We fairy cut her a second time, and that's all we can hit it with. Okay. And then we go into Barry, and hopefully Barry can catch this thing now. I I'm gonna give this like five, three more. I'm gonna give it three more opportunities to get in the ball because like it should not. It should really should not be this hard. But again, here we are having the stupidest struggles ever. And it's just like, oh, their age is building. Like, okay, so you have an eight hour work day, right? And you're chilling, and like, you're like, you are drained. You don't want to do anything except for record Soglock, have fun. And then the game's like, have fun? What is that? You just got up an eight hour work day, and now I'm going to make you work to catch all your Pokemon. Yes. Uh, finally, let's go. Shuckalina is amazing. You cannot question the methods of Shuckalina. Literally, without Shuckalina, I don't think we can catch any of these Pokemon because Johto's just broken. It's Joy. Oh my god. That should not have taken that long. Not gonna lie. That should not have been that much of a, tr a struggle, but it was. <gasps> no! If only we had Adam! Oh! <laughs> no! No! Adam would have been able to evolve! Ah, we that's sad. This game really... It really wants to put me down. It really does. <sighs> Spring Break Marathon, I guess. Spring, it's like, it's like, oh, but Spring Break's almost done, so we can terrorize you now. It's like, gosh. Um, but no, today has been actually really crazy, so... <sighs> I'm just gonna preface it by I hate people. 
I really do. Some people are just so just stupid's not the right word. Annoying is the right word. Why? It's like I don't want you to clean the counters because like um I don't want to put my clothes on like a potentially wet surface. It's like. Girl, you gotta put them in the freaking washing machine anyway before you use them. It's not like it's going to do anything to your clothes, considering that we literally have to make sure it doesn't do anything to clothing, before we do anything. But also, too, I literally am drying it in front of you. Like, of course I'm going to dry the freaking counter. That's how it works. If you clean the counter, you have to wash and dry. What? You have to dry stuff? in order to wash and dry? Oh my god. Yeah, I know, right? Isn't that like some breathtaking thing? And then you also have people that are like, uh, um, the, uh, and you get multiple variations. You get the people that are angry that you're cleaning the counter because you know, their safety doesn't matter apparently. Um, and then you also get the people who are like, oh, um, I don't want my stuff to touch the counter because you've, You've been washing that and cleaning that all day. And so I'm going to have you hold them while you do your transaction. And that's like, oh my god, people, why? What is the actual point? What does that help and accomplish? Like, you don't want people to touch the counter that have been cleaned. But my hands are fine. Like... Yeah, I'm one of the good ones that clean and sanitize my hand every time I freaking... So, like, uh, yeah, like, you're lucky you're dealing with one of the good ones, but what, like, some places don't even do that stuff, and, like, I don't get people. Like, it doesn't make sense at all. I, I really don't understand people. I've given up trying to understand people. <laughs> like, retail does that to you. Retail makes you give up understanding people. Because you're just like, how could someone be that dumb? Like, I don't get it, <laughs> like, at all, and it's just like, okay, I'm just gonna pretend like what you're saying is valid, even though it totally isn't, but I'll pretend like it's fine. Like, I, I, I swear, like, retail is the best acting, or is, like, an acting job. If you can act great, you're good, but, oh, is it hard sometimes? <laughs> uh, like, it's ridiculous sometimes. Lovely kiss. Oh, thank you. B, I appreciate you trying to give me a lovely kiss. I really do. And, you know, you're amazing. Like, you're trying to cheer me up, and you're awesome. <sighs> we love B is so... I, I really... Sh like, I, I... Okay, so... This is my favorite team that I've had so far. I mean, we haven't used Sparks yet. We totally could have. We could have... Oh my god, another Earth Ring. Let's go. Um, so yeah, I probably should have done that, but... Yeah, so basically what we did was we trained the team to level 30, only because... freaking next gym is level 35. And so we're gonna try and get to the next gym here shortly. Um... And then the next gym after that is level 40, so I don't want to fight all of the trainers, um, realistically. I want to get, like, these kimono girls, because I think I get fly from them, unless this is just totally, like, optional, and I, oh, wait, is it heart gold so silver that this is optional? And, oh, no, or, um, heart gold so silver where this is required, or do you get fly here, and I just never really get fly, um... I don't know. I'm curious. I'm not 100% sure. Like, I literally, I'm, like, going into Johto. And I don't play Johto very often because it, like, you know, ultimately it's my least favorite generation. Some good Pokemon, like Ursaring, I'm, I'm, I get happy whenever I see Ursaring because that's one of my favorite Pokemon from this generation. Uh, and, uh, you know, Hoot Hoot literally got me monetization. So some Johto mods are really, like, amazing and lovely. But... And, like, I'm not going to deny that. But then some things like Magby can just die in a hole and I wouldn't care. Poor Magby, but true. Um, and, like, you know, friendship evolutions are made here. So it's, like, re...
Boom, that's fly. That's surf. <laughs> Never mind, this is actually required. Yay! John wasn't dumb. Uh, oh my god, uh, I'm so I'm so proud of myself. I <laughs> I really excuse me. Wow. Oh no, you can fly from Chuck. So, I am proud of myself. Okay, that was to that was 100 required. And I thought to myself, is this required or not? And then it is. Also, I'm having hiccups during a recording session. Yay! So. So very happy to be having hiccups during a recording for the first time ever. That's the greatest feeling ever. But I have to pursue through this. Gosh, this is <laughs> what a recording. Freaking, we go from this is the incoherent rambling episodes. Jo uh, John likes jo Joy likes because it's all over the place, and I love these episodes too because I'll watch them back and be like. Wow, we went for how did we transition from this topic to that topic and what caused that? <laughs> and it's like, okay, I guess I guess we're gonna talk about that now. What's like, okay Um Tangela, you're gen one. What am I saying? Oh my god, that Tangela I, I get that you're in a phase and you want to dye your hair. Gosh, that punch like didn't work because I hiccuped. Ah! Dang it. Wow, oh, oh, this is actually ridiculous. Okay. Ah, that punch I would have worked so well, but then the hiccup got in the way. Oh. <laughs> I did so much. B is already level 32. I'm kind of, that's not the greatest of things. I don't care, Zoe. Oh my god, I freaking want to, like, not have hiccups right now. Uh, the trick that I have, oh, that's a trainer that I just straight up walked into. Oh my god, this is actually ridiculous. Okay. Um, a trick I have for hiccups requires both of my hands, so I can't even do the tri trick. But it's basically, I squeeze my, uh, like, index, this part of my wrist, I don't know if you can see it, like, super duper hard. And as I squeeze that part of the wrist, it, like, the it focuses the pain there rather than the hiccups. And, like, you have, you have to uh, squeeze it, like, hard enough to where you can feel, feel the pain. And... So that way it distracts you from the actual hiccups themselves. And then um, what happ happens is that you... Um, I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, I guess B is kind of our best op option for... No, uh, Tom Brady is. Um, and then you just kind of just de deal with that pain. And then, you know, the hiccups go away. Which is nice, and it's amazing. But I can't do that right now. You can't do that while you're recording. So, oh, um, we just have to, you know, go along with it. It's gonna sound like I'm making a lot of different cuts and that I'm lagging, but you know what? That's fine, because it's what we have to deal with. I've never actually done a hiccup recording session, but you know what? I guess that's what life wanted to happen today. <laughs> um, and... Nope, not. Oh wait, no, not stoops. What am I doing? That's stoops. Nope, not even gonna deal with it. Bye, Pineco. <laughs> not even gonna deal with that. And then I'm just gonna try and avoid every trainer that that I can at this point because this is also an encounter. So hopefully we get something better than a freaking Pineco. Okay. Not better than a pine coat, but I know I'll be able to catch it. So, oh my god, we have the worst TMs. Frustration, self-destruct, barrier, thunder, super fang. That is a list of trash TMs if I've ever seen it. Um, told you, it'd be super easy. It's basically eradicate, which I don't mind eradicate. And we're naming this Joey. It's Joey. 
We caught Joey and Joey, the sex lock partners. That sounds terrible out of context, but if you guys don't know what that is, it's basically a cage lock where Joey can only have males, or excuse me, Joey can only have females and uh, Joey can only have males. Uh, there was definitely more that went along with it, but I don't quite remember all of the stuff, but I believe, I can't, I'm not even gonna spoil who won the, steal the series, but you know, I think that honestly, it was a really fun series. And I want to see a part two at some point. But are we going to get a part two? I have no idea. Um, so, what I'm actually going to do, I think... I believe you have to take on the light how... I'm, I don't remember the order of operations. And I'm just going to hope that I am pseudo-correct. Um, because I believe you have to talk to Fampy first, which is why I have the escape rope. Or why I bought an escape rope is for this. Because I don't want to go through this area twice. Uh, actually, wait, it's not even going through it because you just fall down the cracks. Whatever, John. It's fine. Like, and then, then we go get, the next episode can be the encounters and chug. Sounds like a plan. If my order out. Oh, wait, no, it would be another double gem because Olivia's right, or um, whatever her name is, is right there, too. Wow! Two double gem episodes? I don't know how I feel about that one. I don't know how I feel about that one, Captain. But I guess it's what we're doing. Be. Be amazing. Be e amazing. Uh, totally. Okay. Uh. Yeah, I don't really have much more to talk about or say, but other than I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'm having a wonderful day myself. That didn't work out the way I wanted it. I'm just speeding up because this train apparently had tr some trash. Um, sorry, I'm speeding up a lot more than I want. I believe this is the... Okay, yeah. I believe this is the hole I fall through. Correct. That's not and oh god, this is a Heracross is not a good Pokemon for us actually. I don't necessarily know how I want to deal with it. I am gonna go ahead. <gasps> um, I like how B is starring in the episode where I have hiccups. So even when she's the star, she's like not the star because my hic hiccups from the show. I feel so bad. She finally gets her starring episode, and this is what's happening during it. Oh, B deserves way better, honestly. Um, I guess Tom, I don't know. I don't like this. Heracross is a little bit of a noob. I think we can deal with Heracross fine, but oh my God, Poison Sting. I'm freaking out over that. And you Poison Sting and make me look stupid. Thanks, Heracross. I appreciate that. I thought you were gonna come at me with like a Mega Horn. Or something. Oh, high jump kick. That's a pretty good move to come at me with. <laughs> Not, but a crit wouldn't have even killed. So, like, again, hair across making me look bad. And then there's an item here. Hopefully, we get something good. <laughs> Don't even remember what that does, but that's fine. Um. Oh god, I freaking hurt. Hiccups suck. I don't even know what caused them either. Maybe I like I mean I guess I didn't eat I didn't eat like crazy. I don't know. Interesting. Interesting for me to like I haven't had hiccups in a long time. Let me know when was the last time you guys had hiccups? Because yeah, for me it's been quite a bit. Snorlax. You know what? This is time. Time for Sparks to premiere. This is this is Sparks time. We I want to see what Sparks can do. I haven't used Sparks and Ampharos yet, so I think Ampharos does do a lot of damage, if I'm not mistaken. Snorlax especially bulky. Let's go! Cradle the first hit. What a it, what a great showing. What a great showing. Sparks out here critting his first attack, and having a Poliwhirl come out next. Okay, Sparks. 
Okay, what an entrance! Let's go! That's an entrance if I've ever seen one. Oh, I thought if, if, if it would have been a double crit, that would have been hilarious. That would have been an amazing entrance if it was a double crit. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, yes, a Pokeball. Exa exactly what I needed in this moment. This Pokemon always has kept the sea lit at night, but I've gotten s sick and is gasping for air. I understand that the people are awesome and have a pharmacy in Cyanwood, but it's across the sea, and I can't leave Amphi unattended. May I ask you to get medicine for me, please, please, please? Of course, Jasmine. I... Of course. Okay, so... Now I should be able... I guess I didn't really need to do that. But yeah, I, I, I didn't know if that triggered it or matter or anything. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to hopefully get rid of these hiccups. And I love you all. Uh, have, a, I like that. have a great one. Go ahead and get this HM over here because this dude gives me an HM. It's strength and we love it. Anyway. Hope you have a wonderful day. Love y'all. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Next episode is a double jam up episode. So I'm going to make sure I get all your guesses out there. Love y'all. Bye.